Welcome to the show, uh, M. the Wow, welcome as well. Thank you to thank you for thanking me. Uh, today is JJ Robert's birthday, right? Um, mm -hmm, yeah. Um, but I want also to talk. Let's talk a little bit because I got at least um, uh, 10, 40, 40 minutes, 45 minutes uh, here to be here, and we'll come back. We we'll take a short break and then come back uh, for pro, uh, for another edition of Profile Liberia, where we'll be playing host to um, the Assistant Secretary General for. Uh, for public relations uh, for the Unity Party, uh, Mr. Mo Ali, Mr. Mo Ali will be with us at two o'clock. Okay, so it's almost one o'clock. We're going to be here. We are going to be here for this segment for the next three quarters of an hour. Okay, three quarters of an hour. That's about forty-five minutes or so. <coughs> and so we are talking. I, I'm, I'm trying to microscope um, our holidays in Liberia. You know, this is a nation that, you know, uh, I mean, some of us have been talking this for so many, for a long time now, that we have too many holidays, you know, um, and most of them are, are not even working holidays. They are public cele publicly celebrated holiday, wherein we close every business entity and everybody stay at home and uh, they do all a form of enjoyment or so. Okay, whatever it is. But this is it. Let this call see. Yeah, no man. The, the, the music, the music take you way back. <laughs> All right. Okay. Welcome, uh, Ozundi, brother Ozundi. Welcome. Uh, I, I appreciate if you can also call if you have the, the uh, if if you have the capability to call. And uh, let's hear from. I want to hear from you, Liberians. You know. Let's talk about this. Uh, these too much holidays as well. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Um, as to. You know, what do what you make of it? What are your thoughts on the too many holidays in Liberia? What are your thoughts? Uh, would you want to recommend for us? Let me go to my dashboard straight away. I think somebody is already there. Uh, would you want to recommend that, you know, we try to get rid of um, some of the holidays now? Uh, maybe to say reduce them. I want to read them to you. We have, um, let me see. I want to read them to you. But I, I wanted to, first of all, um, okay, I wanted to first of all let me lay the ground here. Let me lay the ground, the, the, the foundation. Uh, let me let me hold you there. I was trying to bring in um, Ozundu, but let me let me hold you there, Ozundu. Uh, but I know what, wait for wait for me one minute. Let let me give you some historical background of JJ Roberts. I know somebody trying to call two people. Let me uh, yeah, I'll call you. I'll call you for there as well. Okay, uh, let me let me do this. Let me let me do this. Let's let's hear something. Probably I will share this with you because it's um it's on the website. It's on the YouTube. I will share this with you. It's about JJ uh, Roberts. Uh, it's about JJ Roberts. But so we can talk about this. Whether it's about time now to say, well, you know why? Um, no, no, there's too many too many holidays for Liberia. Let's try it and reduce them or so. But this is JJ Roberts. Yeah. Let me let's let's get a gist of this.
Let's get some his, 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 historical facts about Joseph Jenkins Roberts. March 15 is Joseph Jenkins Roberts' birthday. Uh, let me see. Uh, uh, let me project the camera to myself and I can, I can read. I get it from, from my face. Okay, Joseph Jenkins Roberts, uh, the first and seventh president of Liberia. Born on March 15, 1809 in Norfolk, Virginia, USA. Joseph Jenkins Roberts was the first vice governor of the Commonwealth of Liberia in 1839. Joseph Jenkins Roberts became governor of the Commonwealth of Liberia in 1841. Joseph Jenkins Roberts, on July 26, 1847, declared Independence Day. Joseph Jenkins Roberts won the first Liberia presidential election on October 1st, October 5th, sorry, 1847, and was sworn into office on January 3rd, 1848. Joseph Jenkins Roberts became the first president of Liberia, Liberia College, now the University of Liberia in Monrovia in 1862. Early life, Roberts was born free in Norfolk, uh, Virginia, the second oldest of seven children. His father was said to be a planter of Welsh origin. And that's me coming from Wales here in the United Kingdom. Roberts, another uh, mother, sorry, uh, okay, that's gone, Mar marriage and family. In 1822, in 1828, rather, Roberts married an 18-year-old woman named Sarah. They had an infant child whom they took with them when they immigrated to, immigrated to Liberia under the auspices of the American Colonization Society. Marriage and family, Jane Rose Roberts, the first lady and President Roberts. Okay, let's get that off. Let's go to the next next uh, page. Uh, let's see what it says there. Uh, immigrating to Liberia. After hearing of the plans of the American Colonization Society to colonize the African coast at Cape Mosurajo near modern day Morovia, Roberts decided to join an expedition to Liberia, formerly the Green Coast. Foreign relations. Roberts spent the first year of his presidency attempting to attain recognition from European countries and the United States. In 1848, he traveled to Europe to meet Queen Victoria and other heads of state. In 1849, the German cities of Hamburg, uh, Bremen, and Luburg recognized the new nation and did Portugal, Brazil, the Kingdom of uh, Sardinia, and the Australian Empire. Last time the empire was in, in shock. The United States withheld recognition until 1862 during the presidency of Abraham Lincoln. Pre uh, reportedly, the government feared that the Southern uh, uh, Congressmen would not accept a black ambassador in Washington, D.C. After his first presidency, Roberts served for 15 years as a major general in the Liberian army, as well as diplomatic represent representative in France and Great Britain. In 1862, he helped to found and became the first president of Lib Liberia College in Monrovia, where he served as president until 18, uh, 1776. Roberts died on February 24, 1876, less than two months after his second term and, uh, had ended. In, in, his testament, in his testament, he left 10,000 on his estate to the education of system of Liberia. He faced his depleted, depleted on the Liberian $10 bill. His face is depleted on the Liberian $10 notes introduced in 1997 and the old $5 bill in circulation between 1989. President Roberts and Vice President Stephen Allen Benson, later on Benson served as the second president of Liberia from 1856 to 1864. Okay, uh, President Robert. Hang on there. Okay, that's that's uh, that's just a historical fact of uh, of uh, President Joseph Jenkins Robert. Uh, the day that is celebrated today in Liberia as a, a national holiday. Let me go on my dashboard now and welcome uh, Noah. Uh, I wanted to call. Uh, let me free. Let me see. Let me. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Who was uh, asking to be called? Uh, let me see. Let me. Let me. I'm a big bird. Let me see. Let me. Let me see what I can reach to more Ali. Yeah. Let me. 
I'll come to you, uh, Noah, very quickly. Let me see. Let me go to Morovia and welcome Mo Ali. We're trying to actually um, build our connection and establish it for now so that later on, we're, you know, once he's on, we'll be able to get him uh, so we can have him on that. Uh, 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 Good afternoon. How are you, sir? Good afternoon, man. Good to see you. And uh, I don't know what we are saying. Um, happy what? Did, 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 uh, happy holiday or what? Let me get my earpiece. Okay. Happy holidays. Okay. Um, I, I know. Um, uh, it's, it's, we, I just been. I, I, I know you follow it. I just been talking about just the Jacob Rabbers with respect to the history of the small history you have about him, uh, which of course um, uh, looking quite distinctive as well, and very informative. Um, Mister Mister Ali, what is it like today, especially with respect to this particular day in, in Liberia? Well, normally, as it is with all our holidays, is is quiet and um, you have people staying home. And particularly me, I don't normally go out on holidays. I stay home, but I do um, celebrate the JJ Ravel's birthday normally because I um, a greater part of my Tertiary education was acquired through the sponsorship of the J.J. Rower Education Foundation. And so I stay right. home sometimes. I go to the programs. Right. But normally it's quiet in the daytime. But um, today, later, you find people going out on, on the beaches, you know, okay. because the sun, <laughs> is, the sun is very, very hot and... Uh, well, I bless you. I, I wish I, I wish we could, we could actually uh, switch switch now. I uh, switch the weather. You take the other one. I think I'll come. I'll come there. Uh, <laughs> it's extremely it's hot. hot yeah, extremely hot. Very good. Let me let me take you to this. Um, we've been talking about this. Some of us have been concerned. I've been talking about this. Uh, look, um, this is a struggling country. We've been struggling for many many years. Um, as far as historical facts, I know are concerned, but then at the same time, this nation as well. Um, we have too many holidays. Let me let me read them here. We have um, New Year's Day, which is uh, worldwide. I agree with that. Armed Forces Day. Uh, we have the Decoration Day. We have J.J. Roberts' birthday. We have Fast and Prayer Day in Liberia. We have National Redemption Day. I don't know whether that is still uh, celebrated. We also have... I'm, National... not, I'm not sure that's still there. I'm okay. not sure about the Redemption Day. Okay, but I like, was, like, was, like you yeah, say, was, we, we yeah, have. So, mm, there, so yeah, there are absolutely have, too we, many. We still have some more. We we have the National Unification Day. We have Independence Day. We have Flag Day. We have National Thanksgiving Day. We have William V. V. S. Tottenham's uh, birthday, and of course the Christmas for each and every one of us. Uh, Mr. Ali, you now as um, you know a, a politician and. You know, uh, you've been you've been you've been in politics for for a while now. I mean, are these holidays not too many? What 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 are your thoughts? Well, I would think like like you that um, there are there are too many holidays in in Liberia, and it's something you know you wouldn't you you wouldn't you wouldn't fathom in the developed world because a a country that that is struggling you need each and every day to bring in income and and for people to work to generate funds revenue even for their families for government but like in this match just the day before yesterday was a national holiday and today is holiday and then we have the entire weekend saturdays and sundays so it means that for this entire week, we, we just work for Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and the rest of the week, uh, four days. It's just off. People cannot go to work. Government will not generate much revenue. Yeah. And we are taught that, you know, there should be something done to, to, to minimize some of the holidays. We have the Gigi Rawa birthday. We have the William V. S. Tottenham birthday. You have fast and prayer day. You have national. You have decoration it's day. Just too many. You have the July twenty-six. You have the August twenty-four. 
there are too, too many. many holidays. That's true. Yeah. Absolutely. And I think I think um I, I quite agree with you because the fact of the matter is every in in where I am, I mean I mean, this is a very big country that's supposed to have so many because they control the world, they were they colonize countries or so. But the countries that are even colonized, the, the United Kingdom, the countries that are even colonized, most of them have, especially in Africa, most of the most of them have this holiday abundantly, so many, as compared to them. And we and they are so much, you know, aware that look, the moment you have that public holiday, wherein people will not go to work or so. The nation lose, you know, they, they lose re re revenue, like what you are talking about, you know. I mean, and, and that's that's nothing to actually bite our teeth on also. But if we, if there is a call today, uh, maybe for um, a citizen to say, well, you know what, we want to petition the, the, the lawmaker, let us, uh, the, the, the lawmakers, and see whether we can reduce this holiday. Also. Um, and perhaps you see that petition where all these holidays are on it, and they reach to you, uh, Mr. Ali, and say, look, uh, take three holidays from there. Which one you want to for me? But uh, let me let me say this. You know, interestingly, uh, there will be more Liberians who, who wouldn't even think about that. In fact, um, people people want people want Liberians want more holidays, and it shows. Sorry for this. How lazy we are in this country. There what? are more people who want more holidays to 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 to, 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 to sit home. Um, um, that's that's very interesting. You you you, you no know way. that there are even people there are even people uh, here advocating that in fact Ramadan should be a, a national holiday. This other one should be a national holiday. Uh, and so, Liberians naturally would like more holidays. Would like to sit home and enjoy or go out on the beaches and all those kind of stuff. Um, so you, but if you, you were did, if, you were, if you were if you were asking me, um, I would think one of those things that we could do to reduce the number of holidays, um, you have something like uh, uh, this other president's birthday, that other president's birthday. I would think we just let one day to, to celebrate. No. We just let one day to celebrate the president. And then, um, 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 you know, there is there is this Christmas Day, everybody celebrates, obviously. This New Year Day, everybody celebrates. Um, you can limit it to three, obviously, because we we have to, we got our National Independence Day, which is the July 26th, and the, uh, the, the flag day. So maybe at, at best, four, because we always have the, then, you know, you got National Fast and Prayer Day, you got Decoration yeah. Day. I would think you just do that to be one. You you fast and pray and you decorate the graves and everything. So, you know. Yeah, I think that can go along. We, we, we can call it down. Those two, yeah. I think they can they can be merged into into one. Yeah, I think I, I quite agree with you, especially if, if we can have, you know, kind of a national memorial day wherein we can blend all those, uh, you know, whether it's decoration day, well, we just bring it on a one umbrella, you know, Joseph Jenkins Rabo, uh, Ude Brown, this one, we just bring it together. With that. I agree with you. In that in that case, I think we'll be narrowing, the, narrowing them down. And the fast and prayer as exactly. well. We can have it exclusively. Exactly. Can be the exactly. Same. They can yes. all can just go together concomitantly. What happened? I mean, if we do, if we have it, like for example, we have a National Memorial Day, National Memorial and, 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 and Fast and Prayer Day. And, okay, we can have it together, like wherein the whole night we pray. And fast, the next day we go do the decoration of our graves. We go, we go, mm -hmm. we go visit our relatives. Or so I think that, that, would, that, that can make sense. That, anyway, that, that would be great. All right, Mr. Mo, uh, thank you for your time. Uh, we know definitely we're going to have you in the next uh, uh, hour or so uh, on the show exclusively. So uh, we we uh, we can't wait to have you on on an exclusive interview one as well. Thank you so much for your time. This time. Yeah, and I and I I I I, I am urging all of all of the uh, the listeners to tune in. It will be by um, in in a little bit under forty five minutes, so that we can have a real discussion. Thank you. Indeed, indeed. Uh, wherein we will go, uh, 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 fellow Liberians will go in depthly as far as politics is concerned. Uh, the role that Mr. Mo Ali and his parties are playing right now in Liberia, where you have the up to date information. Where do they stand as far as 
development news and everything is concerned. Thank you, Mr. Ali, and we see you later. Thank you. All right, we're going to take a short musical break, and I'll, I'll go take you now. Uh, let me see. Let me go back to my goal. Uh, I think most of... Um, let me go to Nawa. Nawa, I've been waiting for a while. Then I'll come back to Moses. I'll come to, to Amos. Uh, Mr. Nawa, let me, let's go to Mr. Nawa. Too many holidays. What do you think? Mr. Mowali said we should call them some of them. We can, we can blend them. Mr. Nawa, welcome. How are you doing? Happy holiday. I don't know. Somebody, somebody, Thank you very much. In a way, that, that birthday, so we can say happy holiday. It's not, you know, death day. So. <laughs> I'm I'm so I'm so far I'm all the way at in the in the Pacific, and it's already midnight to us here. Wow. Okay. And and we had a very serious disaster today in New Zealand. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Some shooting took place, and so. Yeah. But uh, coming to our question, um, I think this is where our governance system need to. to start reflecting on some of these things. Okay. Um, <clears throat> like Mo Ali was saying, for me, we can narrow this whole holidays, holidays to just four. If you have an Independence Day, you can celebrate the flag on that same day. I mean, our independence was the reason why we got a flag. So we cannot have a special day for the flag and a special day for for our independence. Our independence is the one that brought about all the flag issue. So we should have one independence day celebration, which is which which makes sense all over the world. For for the unif we can have like unification and national heroes day. Because the essence of our unification is also talked about, about, about our heroes and what they have done and the kind of contribution they have contributed to the to the country. So you can have like unification and national heroes day blended together to celebrate. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, these people, they don't give this man chance. Yeah, man. Making really good sense here. Really, really good sense in making here. But uh, the way he gone like this, um, still, by the time he look, he disappeared. So let me Put music on in the meantime. Let's go to Nima County. I think, yeah, Nima. All right, let me take, uh, let me take Emos in the meantime. And then from there. We'll come back to what? We're we in Nima country right now. All right, let's go Benta Benta there right there in Nima County. We just flew there right now. Uh, Amos, uh, um, thank, God, thank God to see you back and thank God uh, that you left the hospital. Thank God you, you, you are back home and recovering. Uh, we thank God. We stay praying for you as well. Yeah, man, I just want to say thank you. Thank to you and the family uh, for all your prayers and words. Mm. And, you know, I was in hospital and I was following you yesterday. But this independent day, it's very simple, Mark. It's a country that had too many independent days are lesser people. Let me be honest. Lesser people. Because when you don't work, government loses revenue. Those days, people are not working. Government loses revenue. Business people. For instance, why would, can we just take the Independent Day and Flag Day? Then remove all the individual president to one day called President Day. That all the president will be remembered for that day. The family can go and do the personal thing, but the government should just take one day to celebrate all those people as President Day, like that the way they're doing some Western country. President Day. That's it. Yeah. The Armed Forces Day can go along with July 26th and Flag Day. Armed Forces Day, July 26th, and Flag Day. That's it. Yeah. That's right. Put Decoration Day and Fast and Prayer Day together. You are, if you do that, you are cut almost 
that those holidays in half, which will save everybody money and time and will help people to do other things. I mean, when we were growing up, we used to celebrate Material Nepal Days, but all those holidays are no more celebrated again. Yes, we can read about the role they play, but it's not being celebrated again. No. We know. So many people play a vital role in the state, but we have to reduce, condense our uh, holidays so we can now have almost 15 to 16 holidays in a year. That's too yes. many holidays. Too many. You can see the whole week, part of the people are not doing anything. This whole week. No. Yesterday, Decoration Day, Wednesday, Thursday, people, what do we do when Friday is a holiday? After, 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 you can go drinking heavy, heavy, heavy. That's yes. the next <laughs> Can you imagine that? Somebody said, so, from head over, they're going to do work the next day. Come on, man. Yeah. Can you imagine that? Some people go out of town. Some people went out of town to clean their the yeah. parents' grave. Now, if you go to the, the area that is remote, Roto, and it's not accessible to a car every day, what do you do? So, look, let us condense this thing. Let's, put, let's just put so many holidays together. Two or three holidays, can, we can just make it one decoration day, fast and prayer day, put it together, unification day. We can look at it, you know, and just cut down all the, all the holidays. It, it, it really don't serve the purpose again. Yeah. We are moving, the world is changing. So we got to go, we got to follow the world. I'm not saying that this rule, most of these day holidays are not vital, but just put some money. You got Independent Day. You got Flair Day. Yeah. You got Armed Forces Day. July 26. I mean, let us just put some money holiday, make it two, make, make two holiday, three okay. holiday, one holiday. Because we have one more time, we can do that whole thing all day along and be done with it. Okay, see? all right, Amos. All right, yeah. we got your point. Let's uh, let's see because I got only three more minutes I have to get out, and then we'll be okay. having an exclusive well, show you. interview soon. Thank you very much for your time. All right, that's Amos. Uh, very very brilliant uh, um, contribution. Yeah, his suggestions um, are quite quite similar to. Let me go back to Noah. I'll come back to you, Chelly. Uh, Chelly, uh, let me go then then before we can call it there. Okay. Uh, let's see whether we can get um, our better on back. <laughs> All right, we got you back. Uh, let's uh, just do it on a, at least two minutes. Yeah, thank you very much. So, if we have this, um, like this, four, I mean, four holidays, uh, the only thing I wanted to have, to have added is the fact that we need to even give a new meaning to some of our holidays. Like okay. Thanksgiving Day. Thanksgiving Day, the sense of it historically is not, in a, it should not be a national holiday if you really want to unite Liberians. Because you have two people fighting and one person became victorious and then the person declared a Thanksgiving Day. And then you expect the, the person who was uh, defeated to be part of that kind of holiday. No, it does not make sense if we really want to unite the country and move the country forward. Okay. So we have to reduce them and then give them a new meaning. I think we have had a very long history from from the creation of the state up to now, there is a lot that we have learned that can tell us to give us, that can help us give a new meaning to our holidays that makes it more inclusive that whoever you are, you can be proud of it. But, and that can help us really. But you, you've, been, you've been traveling quite a lot. Um, you way, you all the way there in the Far East also. Um, do you really, really think that holidays such as day like days can reduce uh, the nation's revenue? Very, very huge, in fact. I mean, so, so, so huge. Imagine if, um, if it is a national holiday, all the supermarkets are going to be closed down. And supermarkets for this part of the world sells and they, they pay what they call GST. So the GST that the government is supposed to get for that day will actually not be accrued because it's a holiday. So you are saying that if you have 15 to 16 holidays, like my, our brother was saying, you are saying almost half month revenue is going to be taken away. Not even half month, it's a whole month revenue. Mm -hmm. Because 16 days plus all the weekends and everything when you put together is one month revenue. Yeah, one month. So if the... 
yeah, if the monthly revenue is 100 million, you should know that the government is losing 100 million. For, okay, for okay. Just, finally, uh, your, holidays. finally, what is your thought now? Because uh, we have all of these holidays and we also have Christmas Day. Exclusively, people say worldwide is, you know, Christ, uh, Christians celebrating the Christmas Day. But in Liberia now, I mean, there has been a talk, and Mo Ali just may later mention it, uh, about it as well, that people are blowing horns as well, that they want Fridays to be declared a national holiday. What, what, what would be your thought on that? Brother, I think people, people need to be realistic sometimes and forget about this issue of uh, this religious struggle that because Christians are doing this, then Muslims should do that. I think people are supposed to forget. What we're supposed to be asking for is the freedom that allows you to worship the way you want to worship, wherever you want to worship. Issue of holiday has no impact. It contributes nothing. It has no impact. Okay. If you ask me, Christmas can be eliminated. I can elim If you ask me personally, I can tell you, take Christmas away. It makes no yeah. sense. Okay. Yeah? Thank you, brother. But Thanks. People forget about this issue. Thanks. And thanks always for your honest, uh, very, very honest and brilliant thoughts as well. Thank you. Let me quickly go to my dashboard. Uh, Chili, uh, my brother, you have, make the call. Uh, instead of me calling you, you try and call. Let me go to Chili because I'm running behind time. Let me get Chili for uh, two minutes or so. Seku, I, Seku, place the call now. So after him, I will take you. Okay, let's see what we can get it better. Let's get the music in the background to work on it. <laughs> Are the holidays too many in Liberia? What should we do? What is your recommendation? Let's see what we can take your chili right now. I still going through. All right, he dropped. Let's see what we can get somebody else. Um, he just dropped there. Let me see. Let me see. Sick working. See you on the dashboard to call you. Let me go back and see what I'll be able to get you. Hey, okay, today is Jesse Robots' birthday. Uh, Joseph Jenkins Robots. First president of like Republic of Liberia, right? Sick, please place the call because I can't see you on my dashboard. Okay, let me go quickly because of time uh, to brother uh, Jet. Jeteju. Good afternoon. Good evening. How are you, sir? I'm good. I'm good. Um, happy, happy Joseph J.K. Ramos Day. <laughs> uh, well, the same to you. All right. Let's see what else. Yeah, you can, you can a little bit um, improve your the yeah, microphone I, so I think, everybody can hear you good. Yeah. Um, yeah um, what are your thoughts? Think, Today is Joseph J.K. Ramos' uh, birthday. Uh, but mainly, I, I'm trying for us to microscope the too many holidays we have in Liberia. First of all, do you agree that there are too many, or are you satisfied with the holidays? If so, what are your thoughts generally? Yeah, I agree there are too many holidays in Liberia. And what they can do if they really want to observe those dates is to consider some of them as working holidays. That way, uh, people will go to work, we well, just observe the day as a holiday. Okay. So, I mean, I mean you can't. If you can, can, we can, can we have, yeah, let, let's hear from you which one you, you think we can mend together. So, like, so like uh, it's a fast and prayer day. That can be your working holiday. You mean you can, you can sit home, I mean, you can, you can be to work and fast and, 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 and pray to your God. A uh, holiday like forget Joseph Jenkins' rubber birthday, that should be a holiday. That's a long time thing. Why should we still be observing that as a national holiday? Like someone said, all these things will help, will, will cut the revenue. People should be working today. Okay. Yeah. So you can, you, can, you can observe. You made, you made very, very salient point that the fast and prayer day, in a way, suggesting it can be a working holiday. Even in ministries mm -hmm. and agencies and things, people can even have worship there. If they, if they have Muslim group there, they can have worship there. The, the Christian group can have worship there, isn't it? That, that's a very exactly. brilliant idea. Exactly. We, we, we yeah. say Liberia is a Christian nation, so, I mean, we can we can pray at a, at a work site. That's fine to me. <laughs> okay. That, that's good because even here, here in the UK, 
all the hospitals, major hospitals, they have they have places there. They have they will have a prayer somebody for a prayer person or support group from the Muslim and from the Christian side in every hospital here. Even if you go and it's time for you to pray, you maybe you're going to visit your relative, you can go in that prayer room and do your prayer and come outside. So, you know, I mean, having something like that, that's good. If we blend it together, that's a very brilliant idea. Uh, any, any, any other further thoughts? No, uh, that's it. I just wanted to, okay. to, to make okay. that point that instead of having that, national holidays, is you have you agree important also, holidays. Yeah, brother, you also agree that economically, it, do, it does cripple the nation, isn't it? Too many holidays. Sure, sure. Being some, I'm, I'm someone who worked in the in the revenue era, and you know, once uh, government is not working, you can collect money for government. So, yeah. I mean, for the government. So it's it's that's a huge burden on the government if you have all, all those holidays you, you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I agree. Yeah. It, will, it will cut. It will cut the revenue if you if you have holidays. Okay, bro. Thank you so much. We appreciate yeah. your contribution. Uh, let's Thank hope you. our lawmakers are following us well. Uh, Seku, honestly, I can't see you on the dashboard to invite you. So um, I don't know. You you could try to place the call. I don't know where you're now because <laughs> due to come back at 2 o'clock, I'll be playing host to uh, the Secretary General or Assistant Secretary General for Public Affairs, Mr. Mo Ali. <laughs> Of the opposition unity party will be here on profile liberia discussing issues relevant to mama liberia yes yeah, well, place the call i can see you on my dashboard to call you you see i can see you here so you place the call i will take it all right today is jj jj robert's birthday just a jenkins robert with the american colonization society and later became president of liberia as president oh so so you see this the, the history just told, told me oh i didn't know america did not even recognize us until late why i can't believe this though i didn't oh my god the american colonization society was established in america eh? and through them we got our independence why did america wait so long to, to recognize liberia all the other countries like, oh my god what happened i see Whoa. okay happy 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 joseph jenkins robert's birthday and to all of you in liberia and from liberia and elsewhere all right, let me see what I can go on the dashboard and read some of your comments there before I take leave uh, of you for this segment. Uh, provided if my computer give me um, give me chance, let me see what happening here. Uh, provided if my computer okay allow me to do it, I just want to do. Let me see. Um, I just want to read the points according to the subject matter. Uh, Seku say thanks for your hard work. Seku Kemokai. Uh, Seku, I don't know why I can't see you to call you and um okay, thanks brother. So okay, Noah say thanks brother, thank you too. Uh okay. Uh let's see. Okay, uh Samuel Garson Williams uh say here need to just have one holiday for president. Okay, yeah, yeah. So you agree with uh, most of the most of the guys um contribution. Uh, Julu, Julu Care says here, there is no jobs in Liberia and they are less busy and controlled by the warlords and corrupted officials. So any holidays is a, is a on, uh, on serious holidays accepted for the important holidays. Okay, let's go to this one. Okay, our brother was just here. Our uh, Chele, Chele, you tell you i love this name some of those holidays could be observed as working holidays and of course he um he put panda on there when he called as well so um let's go down a little bit my Tawasin justin congo thank you brother i am following you i'm following from foyer thank you for the hard work thank you too oh wow how are people in foyer you, i don't know whether I, i'll be able to call you from there uh let me see let me check you on my dashboard if I see you. Unfortunately, I can't see you on my dashboard though. Please the call. All right, uh, guys, we're going to end the show here for today. Um, because I'll be, I have to get set to come back for the next 
segment here. Jumma, Jumma, Thanks to all of you for your contribution. May God bless you. May God bless the continent of Africa. And above all else, may God bless Mama Liberia. Mm-hmm. Holidays. I hope we, uh, our lawmakers are listening. So they can take uh, our advice. I don't know. I can take. Uh, let me do an exception and take the last caller. Let me see. Oh, yeah. All the way in for you, right? go to foyer now and uh, bring our brother on. All right, let's see what we uh, can get our brother on from all the way there for ya. Lufa County. I think I know where business now. Sincerely apologize. I don't think we can get our brother now due to the time. Okay, the call drop. So on this note, the profile Liberia today, Friday, the 15th of uh, March. We're gonna end it here. Thank you for the effort, brother. I don't understand the network problem. But yes, don't go far away. I will soon be back in the next uh, 20, 20 minutes or so for the next segment. We will have the uh, the secretary, the assistant secretary general of the unity party, Mr. Mo Ali, will be in the house in the next 20 minutes. But from my end, I say I love you all, yeah.